Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel and here I am Tarun Sharma and showing you uh, and going to build another full stack loan application. I mean recently I am more into building the full stack end to end application not like a particular videos on Next.js, React, Angular, Node.js. I am trying to combine or consolidate these set of technologies so that we can talk in depth for the real world examples and i have successfully completed uh, uh, swiggy clone and uber eats clone is like 90 percent done i have completed the stack overflow clone and then currently working on the uh, airbnb clone and working on one uh, t3 stack application which uses the prisma T trpc and uh, next year tailwind and the prisma right so this is another full stack clone application is booking.com so what we are going to do we are going to build the whole platform so my clone applications are not like the actual products don't expect that I'm, I, I can build the end to end booking.com on the YouTube but I'm going to give you the whole prototype how the services are going to work how the services are going to interact how the authentication will work authorization will work and how we can segregate the services and can aggregate the services through the graphql gateway because there are different kind of implementations uh, for these services we can think of monolith but it's a microservice world let's uh, just give a hands-on on the microservices not we are not going to build 20 microservices at least three to four so that we can uh, expose the data on the booking.com ui console for keep for how we are going to show the data we can just use either next.js but on the next year i'm already covering a trpc stack application and then one application is airbnb clone i'm going to cover using uh, uh, next.js so i'm thinking to do it either in the react.js simply react 18 will just create a pages and the routes and single page application and here this is important part here i'm going to use a graphql api gateway because most of my applications i have used rest and people are also more inclined understanding rest and all but that's enough let's try to do uh, graphql this time and we are going to build all these things inside a monorepo as always i'm going to use a pnpm workspace with an x monorepo tool and i'm going to create all these individual applications and here I'm, I can use auth service. So auth service, either we can build our own or we can use auth0 as a auth uh, which uses auth protocol. We can just use auth0 to provide authentication and uh, authorization for the whole platform. Right, so this service is going to be something like this. You will be uh, interacting through the React app and there will be a public APIs which you can access through the GraphQL gateway and here we are going to have some user service let's say booking service and search service now some people will say okay in most of my applications i'm building the same set of services because these are the same set of services exist everywhere user preference data user service booking service and order service right and the search service where you can search the the hotels available right like same as the airbnb there also we are just putting the locations okay i'm looking for between this date to that date and then you are just pressing enter okay i'm looking for uh, a different type of uh, hotels based on the ranking ratings we are just showing the results so same as the booking.com the criteria here is airbnb business is little different than the booking.com so here we are going to aggregate the data and showcase that data to the UI. So here we can just use some kind of a search mechanism. So we'll think of some using cloud search or elastic search and booking service end to end monolith for booking and then user service to manage the user preference data and all we are going to store here. And for the payments and all we can use a Stripe or we will also try to do the integration with any external uh, providers like people. But, but for that i think i need to have some application id and need to submit the text documents and all that same as with the integration with the pau and ptm and then this is the auth service so we are going to play with the again the microservice world and how we are going to interface with these services okay let me just okay. 
and how we are going to work is uh, we are just creating these services which are going to we are going to compose through the graphql gateway so i mean this is all new learning we are talking about the workspaces mono repo tool microservices and don't worry i'm not going to use nest js in each and every service let's use express typescript also because people often complain my youtube channel is all about nest js no it's nest js is built on top of express you can also build your services just by not using nest js microservices or nest js rest api you can just write your services using just express also express typescript everything is possible with that nest js is just built on top of that provide opinionated framework with everything structured and the modular that's the that's why nest js is popular and everybody loves it maybe there are some lightweight uh, node.js framework which are way for faster than this but when you have a nice modular architecture of components which anybody blindly can understand okay this is the module these are these are the middlewares interceptors filters and this is how we are doing dependency injections and all it gives a nice feeling for the enterprise developers okay so this is just uh, another video after trailer and what i'm going to do is just after discussing the clone what i do is i build a landing page i talk about the database architecture database uh, uh, design then i talk about the baselining the simple service and then aggregating that service by just uh, authenticating using auth0 so here these services will also authorize the token i mean we can just have this gatekeeper this you can call as a gatekeeper service what it will do is once you send a token because auth0 provides you the login externally you just pass the configure your client id and you should be able to log in through re using react app once you get the token access token here that access token you can use to pass to your apis so here you will get the access token jwt token right this is because we are talking about the react so we are not using cookies and all it's a stateless uh, jwt token you will receive you will send the jwt token at the gateway and gatekeeper will check okay should i allow this request so i will talk to the auth0 to check the authentication of the request through the headers in the authorization headers we will pass so it's all about a good uh, clone application i'm going to build don't worry some clone applications are running in parallel but i'm going to complete each and every full stack clone application some are small like 5 to 6 hours some will take 10 to 10 to 15 hours because when you are going to talk in depth then it will take more time about the business logic and all